personal essay, the school recommends it, but it's not required. Recommendation letters, the school recommends it, but it's not a requirement. You can see here, the SAT and the ACT scores are also optional, meaning that you don't have to provide them. So as an international student, basically, you don't, you don't have to provide SAT or ACT scores. If you come from an English speaking country, you don't need to also provide test of English language. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami. Today we'll be reviewing two universities which are located in the state of New York, United States of America. The reason why we picked these two schools is because these are universities that you don't need to actually pay an application fee. And apart from that, uh, there are also other benefits such as the fact that the students that come from English speaking countries can request for a waiver of the English language proficiency test result. So there are scholarships for international students and a lot of other benefits actually. One of the schools has programs both in the undergraduate and in, at the graduate level for those who want to study masters or other postgraduate uh, courses why the other university actually has most of the courses only at the undergraduate level and then they have a master's program for those who have a degree in nursing okay we will start to reveal the two schools and then i'll start showing you the benefit the deadlines how you can apply the available scholarships the opportunities in the school for international students and other useful information, okay? So guys, you're welcome to Hartwick College. This is a college that is based in the state of New York. And we will jump right in by starting with the opportunities for international students, okay? So the first thing you have to know about Hartwick College is that international students are offered scholarship, which range between the values of $25,000 to $37,000 per year. The school also have a budget of around $32 million per year, which they use in form of institutional aid to help make this personalized education available. More reasons why you should apply to Hartwick College, apart from the fact that the school automatically considers you for their scholarship, is number one, there is no application fee. The second point is that, of course, they only require you to provide just one official test scores from either SAT, ACT, TOEFL, or IELTS. The thing to note about the second point is that these tests, they are recommended, but they are not actually mandatory if you want to apply to the school. And I'm going to show you this information as well, okay? I will also show you how you can request for the English proficiency test waiver if you come from an English-speaking country. Okay. Also, the university has students from 20 different countries on their campuses, which also shows that it's a very diverse environment. Also, the admission process and the educational experience at Hartwick College are highly personal, meaning that they care about your personal goals, okay, and their approach to students is not a generalized approach, basically. They also give you an opportunity during the application process to actually have like a virtual chat with the admissions office you have the opportunity to set up a virtual chat with the admissions office and then they will be able to provide answers to your questions now for those who come from english speaking countries you can officially request for a waiver of the english language requirement when you are submitting an application you can actually use this form okay and you can see the conditions for which you can apply for a waiver so number one international student whose first language is not english or who spoke at home a language other than english will be waived from the foreign language requirement this waiver can include students from country whose official language is english if the if the preceding conditions are fulfilled okay so basically what they are saying is that if you come from a country right where your first language is not english but the official language is english so you can see you know for example more many african countries like nigeria ghana and co you can apply for a waiver of the english test requirement okay and you can make use of this form when you are submitting your application so you will fill the form and attach it to your application and then the school will review it okay so information for first year undergraduate applications so what do you need to do if you want to apply for undergraduate studies the first thing is that you would complete the application online 
So when you complete the application online, you would also be able to submit your high school transcript, right? And then there are other documentation that you can provide to support your application, but these are not actually required. So personal essay, the school recommends it, but it's not required. Recommendation letters, the school recommends it, but it's not a requirement. Also, you can set up a chat with your personal admissions counselor. This is recommended, but also not required. You can see here the SAT and the ACT scores are also optional, meaning that you don't have to provide them. So as an international student, basically, you don't you don't have to provide SAT or ACT scores. If you come from an English speaking country, you don't need to also provide test of English language. Moving on, what are the courses or what programs are offered in this school? So for Hartwick College, almost all their programs are offered at the undergraduate level. However, they have a master's program, okay, in nursing, all right? In the academics page, you would find a list of all the programs that are offered, which I'm showing you right here, okay? As you can see, they only have one graduate degree, all right, which is in nursing education. But they also have other programs. For example, they have cooperative programs in law, in MBA, in occupational therapy, and in physical therapy. And then they have some pre-professional programs in, you know, engineering, in law, and in medicine as well. Okay. But you can review these programs that have been offered and then find something that is in your area of interest. All right. Now, when it comes to the application deadline, the Hartwood College they review applications at the time of completion. So in general, admission decisions are rendered within two weeks. So basically, they don't have like a fixed application deadline. Of course, if you want to apply for you know, a particular semester, say fall semester or spring semester, you should, of course, apply in advance, especially for international students who would need sufficient time for them to go through the process of visa application. But as far as the school is concerned, they don't have a, an official deadline and applications are accepted and reviewed on a rolling basis. Earlier on in the beginning of this video, we spoke about the fact that the school automatically considers international students for scholarships. Okay, so you don't need to actually submit a, a separate application for scholarship. When you submit your application for admissions, they will automatically consider you for scholarship. And on the scholarships page, financial aid and scholarships page, you can find out more information about the merit scholarship and other associated scholarships that you can apply for as an international student. But basically, the merit scholarship is applied to your application uh, automatically and you don't need to actually apply separately for that. Okay, so we are moving on to the second school, which is the University of Dayton. The school is actually in the top 50 universities on the list of colleges that create futures. They are number one in the nation, that is in the United States of America, for materials research and development. You can find out more information on their homepage regarding their policies for diversity and inclusion, and then for faith and mission. Okay, now for the undergraduate international admission, the school does not charge an application fee and you can see that information right here. I'm highlighting it. So apply for free. Okay, so it is boldly written there. So this school also, in addition to the offers that you have at Hartwick College, you can also apply for free in this university. For the application deadlines for the University of Dayton, for the fall term, okay, which is going to start in August, the application already closed uh, two days ago on May 1st, okay? However, for the spring term, which is going to start in uh, January 2024, the application deadline is November 1. So you have between now and November 1 to apply for the spring term as an international student, okay? So once your application is complete, the evaluation and the review of your application takes between four to six weeks, after which an official decision will be taken, okay? And also, once you've been accepted, then you will get, you know, the official decision letter and other immigration document which you would use to start planning your travel to the United States, okay? At any point in time as well, you can check on the application portal to find out if there is any update or to find out the current status of your application, okay? Now, for international students, the University of Dayton awards international merit scholarship 
to selected first year and transfer undergraduate international applicant. So this scholarship are worth up to $30,000 per year, which is applicable towards your tuition. So the school will automatically consider you for their international merit scholarship as an undergraduate applicant, and you can receive up to $30,000 in scholarship per year, and it's applicable throughout the period of your study. In addition to the International Merit Scholarship, the school also offers a textbook scholarship and you can earn up to 4,000 United States dollars, okay, to cover the cost of your textbooks, which is also an additional benefit. For graduate international admissions, for those who already have a bachelor's and want to study master's or PhD programs, basic thing is that you must have completed a four years bachelor's degree from an accredited institution. Also, you would need the Ministry of Education in your home country to officially recognize a degree certificate with which you want to apply for a master's program. So some application tips for international students who want to apply for graduate programs at the University of Dayton. Make sure you review the admission requirement for your program. Give at least four months okay, prior to the application deadline. So of course, we are talking about the spring semester, which starts next year, January. So you have more than enough time to actually plan your application as well as to apply for the visa, okay? After completing and submitting your application online, you would send all the required document in a single email to this particular email, which is goglobalgraduate at udating.edu so that the school can start processing your application, okay? You can also log into your application portal from time to time to check the status of your application. Don't forget that this is a school that does not charge application fee for students. In addition to the online application, right, the school requests letters of recommendation for graduate programs, okay, for master's and PhD, and you can provide those recommendations either by asking the provider of your reference letter to send an email directly to the graduate admissions email, or you can ask the University of Dayton also to send a form to uh, the recommendation provider, and then the person will fill the form and send it to the institution, okay? They also need for graduate programs a personal statement, like a motivation letter, which will be uploaded to your application, okay? Of course, you would need to provide transcript from previously attended institutions, okay? Now, you don't need to do like an official evaluation of this transcript, okay? If they are uh, generated in English, if your study program was conducted in English, you can use the transcript as provided by your former university. So what are the application deadlines for University of Dayton? You have up till November 1st, 2023 to submit your application. The school has some options for students to provide English language proficiency. Okay, so basically you can write this standardized test. So you can write TOEFL or IELTS or ITEP or PTE or Duolingo English test. There are some exemptions which are actually offered to certain categories of students, okay? If you have received a bachelor's degree from one of the following, so either you have studied previously in the United States or you have studied in an institution where the instruction is conducted in English, and if you studied in the following countries, Australia, Belize, English-speaking countries in the Caribbean, English-speaking provinces of Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Nigeria, or the United Kingdom. If you're a citizen of any of the countries that I mentioned in this exemption list, then you do not need to provide a test of English. However, if you're not a citizen of those countries, you would need to provide a test of English from any of these options which are showing on the screen. So finally, for University of Dayton, what are the you know financial aid options that you have as a graduate student who is applying for either master's or PhD? The school has scholarships, they have grants, and they have assistantship, okay? They also have federal and state scholarships and grants. They have federal direct loan. They have federal direct graduate plus loan. They have external scholarships. They have private student loan and they also offer some form of student employment. You can find out uh, details about all of these types of financial aid in the financial aid page. However, this is only for graduate program. For undergraduate student, you are automatically considered for a scholarship which, with which you can earn up to $30,000 per year, 
Okay, so guys, we've been able to review these two institutions of higher learning. The first one is Hartwick College. The second one, University of Dayton. Both of them are based in the United States. You don't need to provide an application fee for both of them, so they are free. If you come from English-speaking countries, generally, you don't need to provide test of English language. There are a lot of waivers also for the other standardized tests, and there are a lot of scholarship and financial aid options available for international students. So guys, I would encourage you to make use of this information. We'll provide some useful links in the video description, especially this particular form, which enables you to request for a waiver of you know the English language proficiency test, okay? So thank you so much guys for watching. Wish you all the best guys. Have a lovely day.